Hey everybody, this is Dale Martin from Splendora ISD. Quick video here to talk about um, scoring open-ended response questions in Eduphoria. Not something that you do all the time necessarily, so uh, in case you've forgotten or maybe you never got this training, uh, it's pretty easy to do and we're going to take a look at that really quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is get over to my Eduphoria screen and I'm going to click on Aware. Now I am using Eduphoria uh, with my Chrome browser which means that I had to log in um, incognito so that all the functions would work. So after I click on Aware I go to Test Available. A little slow this morning. And then I'm looking for the test that I want to grade. And I know in this case that it's second up from the bottom, 2014-15, fourth grade science, second six weeks, Martin final revised. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on each period because I know I want to go ahead and grade them all and then you, it's just out of screenshot so I'm going to bring it down a little bit and down here in the bottom right hand corner you click on this button that says enter answers and it's working again so now we get to this screen where we have the students' names of every person in the four classes that we just clicked. This is their Scantron. And then right here is the open-ended response for number 15. And the way Splendora system is set up, you put in a zero for a correct response and a one for an incorrect response. Which seems a little counterintuitive, but zero for a correct response, one for incorrect. Now I may not remember what the kid wrote, so I could either have their stack of Scantrons in front of me and I can go through them and look that way, or it takes a little bit of time, but I can come over here and I can click on View Student's Response. It'll give me the question. It takes a few moments, but it will also tell me what the student wrote. So if it's scanned in the answer document, um, it will give me that little video or that little uh, image so that I can see what this particular student wrote and if that's the correct answer I'm going to put in a zero if it's the incorrect answer I'm going to put in a one I need to close this box I would go ahead and make my selection and then I have to click save after I enter something in the box I have to click save. It's the only downside to this system. You cannot go from student to student to student and then click save at the end. So enter your response for the student, either a zero if it's correct, one if it's incorrect, and then click save. And then you would just simply go to the next student. If you have any questions, you can always email me. Uh, or you can call me. My extension is 4017. Hope this helps. Thank you.